the dreaded check engine lights. Now, these lights can mean a lot of different things, but don't worry, we're going to show you the top three reasons, and most of them aren't even that bad. The first is a malfunctioning fuel injector. The second is a loosened gas cap that hasn't been screwed on quite right. And the third is a bad oxygen sensor. So what do you do now? Go screw on that gas cap nice and tight, then turn on and off your car a few times to see if the light goes off. You'd be surprised how often this works. Now if it doesn't, it's time to call your trusted mechanic. Tell them what's going on and what you should do next. They may say, bring it in sometime for the next few days, or let's call a tow truck depending on what they think and how you explained it to them. Just to really break down the check engine light, because most people don't know this, when you bring your car in to see us or your mechanic, we use a scan tool. This scan tool plugs into the computer in your vehicle and gives us a code. For instance, let's say it's a P0131. This is a general auction sensor code and it could mean a few things. The first, it can mean it needs a new auction sensor because the current one is defective. The second, it could mean the wiring harness connected to the auction sensor is malfunctioning. And third, it can mean the PCM or powertrain control module software, which is part of the software in your vehicle, needs to be updated. And there's three, four, or five other things that can actually happen that need to be fixed as well. But those are some of the top ones related to a P0131. Now what I'm getting at here is even though we have a fancy tool that plugs the computer in your engine, it still takes some detective work to find out the issue. In this case it said, hey, check out your auction sensor and everything that can affect the auction sensor. That's what a P0131 actually means. Now that does help us diagnose the problem in your vehicle quicker because we know where to start. Most shops will hear what you're telling them over the phone, will have some idea which they'll share with you, then they ask you to come in for further inspection. This is how they can actually fix the problem and it's the same with us here. The beauty is an experienced mechanic that has seen this problem hundreds of times can get an idea of what's going on through a phone call now, that is not an actual diagnosis, only an idea of what the problem is. The more experienced the mechanic, the more accurate the answer. Give us a call. We'd love to talk with you. And we even want to give you a free diagnosis and a $10 no questions asked discount off your service to fix the issue. If the diagnosis proves you don't need any repairs, then you can use that $10 off on your next service. Now, when you come and see us, when we pop open the hood, we want to plug in the scan tool, and we're going to do our best to get a really good idea of what's going to be vehicle right there, and that's completely free. However, sometimes we will need to put it up on the lift, and so it takes some time to diagnose. There would be a cost to go that far. So we hope this helps demystify the check engine light and why sometimes a mechanic will say, go ahead and ignore it. Or even, some even say, stick some duct tape over it, which we don't recommend at all. Or some would say, hey, you need to bring in the vehicle right now. And you don't have to worry about that check engine light and get it fixed as soon as possible. We'd love to meet you and see if we're a great option to take care of your vehicle in the long term. We hope to see you soon.